Go I'm, ahead. I'm good. Yeah, go. Okay. Ahead. Yesterday. Here's what happened, everyone, okay? Because I know I should not have gone on the internet. I should not have gone on our board. You know, I, I will never forget. I used to work for Tim Flowers, and Tim would always have these meetings before the show. And I cannot say exactly what he said, but it was to the effect of some of you guys just don't freaking get it, okay? Now, not mad at most of you, just, you know, like three of you, maybe more. But there were a lot of rumors yesterday, and uh, and then when the rumors were not confirmed immediately, then it was like, oh, it was all made up. Well, if that's your conclusion, you're an idiot. Now, yesterday, Stephanie McMahon resigned, and they sent out a big thing. And there's a whole bunch of stuff about it. I can read it here later if you want to, but I would speculate that it was shortly before NXT began that I got a text. And the text was the WWE had been sold to the Saudis. Well, that seems like pretty big news, okay? <clears throat> now, I don't know about everyone else, but my goal has never been to be the first to break the news. I would rather get the news right. So I thought, whoa, that seems like... Uh... And actually, my first thought was, how? This bloke just came back. How could it be sold already? So... I was like, okay, well, whatever. And literally, the first text I got, I, I kind of ignored it. Because I was like, that can't be right. So then, it was like another 15 minutes passed, and I got another text. WWE has been sold to the Saudis. Different person. I was like, whoa, what the heck is going on here? So I, I did tweet that we may have big news breaking imminently. But I didn't. That was it, because now I decided, well, I got to start figuring out what's going on. And so I started asking around, and, uh, and other people started asking around, and, uh, and one person after another was like, I heard the same thing. I was like, holy smokes, how? So, you know, after a while, probably an hour later, now Everybody has heard this story, okay? So for those of you thinking it's just like, you know, whatever CNBC said about online wrestling reporters or whatever, get out of here. You don't know what you're talking about. You're an idiot. Everybody in wrestling was talking about this. They were talking about it in AEW. They were talking about it backstage at NXT. They were talking about it on the main roster. Everybody heard this. Everybody was talking about it. This was not some crazy made-up story that someone pulled out of thin air. Like, everybody was talking about it. It was going all over the place. So, you know, time goes on, time goes on. Everyone's like, yeah, it's 5 o'clock in Saudi Arabia. It's 5 a.m., you know? A couple, couple hours, and then, you know, it's 8 a.m., 9 a.m., and nothing. And now, you know, today, everyone's... I don't want to say they're backtracking, but... Um, you know, it's it's it does not appear to be sold yet. Now, here's the thing, everybody. So I don't know what's going on, okay? I don't know if it's been sold or not. But I do know this. I lived through the sale of World Championship Wrestling. I lived through the sale of UFC. Every single one of these things is going exactly the same as this Saudi story is going. I'm not saying that for sure they're going to be sold to the Saudis. I'm not saying that. But this is the exact same thing that happened. Do you know that when WCW was sold, after after it was sold, okay, there were still people denying that it had been sold. After it had been sold, okay, it was the exact same thing that happened when UFC was sold. It was deny, deny, deny. And meanwhile... Every bit of this sale was being reported. But the people within UFC deny, deny, deny. And there were people there at the very top that didn't know and had been told 
that it was not for sale and they weren't selling, they didn't know until after it was sold. WCW was even more weird because after it was sold and it was official, they still thought it was a work. At least in UFC, it was like once it was official that it was sold, they were like, holy smokes, it actually did get sold. Okay? So for those of you that are like, oh, all these rumors, they just made it up. There's nothing to them. Hey, I'm not saying it's anything, but this is the way things work when you sell a company. It could very well be, it could very well be that this deal has been agreed to in principle, but it's not done yet. And of course, a lot of things need to be done. If the rumor, which is that Vince is selling to the Saudis and he's going to go private, you can't just do that. Like, there's a lot of stuff that has to be done. And, you know, I, I did a, uh, I had a revelation I gave to Mike the other day about how nothing is, I forget what it was, but it was a great revelation. Nothing is over till it's over, something like that. And then I added, till it's really over. Not just over, it's got to be really over. Because you'll also recall in the sale of World Championship Wrestling that Eric Bischoff's group issued a press release about how they had purchased the company. They actually issued a press release. They said the deal was done. Well, guess what? It wasn't done. And, uh, and it fell through. And then someone else bought it. WWE for like $4 million. And then after they did that, people still thought it didn't actually really happen. But it did. So anyway, I can't sit here and tell you for sure anything, okay? And nothing will be sure until a deal is made, a sale is completed, and some time has passed for it to really complete, okay? But if you think people are making stuff up, if you think people are full of it, okay, obviously some people jumped the gun and said the deal was done, okay? that They shouldn't have done that. But if you think that this is much ado about nothing, you might be in for a pretty big surprise coming up at some point. Right? Right. And Any other geeks how... ever been part of a company that's been sold? <laughs> God. I don't know. And no one can say that it's much ado about nothing because Vince McMahon made these moves with the board and with himself in a very real life way to position himself in a position of power in case the company gets sold or in case there's media rights. The only thing that anybody else could say is, well, he's doing it to get back into creative power. That's a lot of hoops to jump through to get to that point. This is, they brought on J.P. Morgan. They may be, bring on other people to, to do, you know, comb over these books and do whatever, you know, they need to do. But, like, something is obviously happening here, and it's a matter of, is this being pushed by Vince? Is he trying to jump out ahead of another sale that may be getting negotiated? So we're going to have to see, but we may be talking about this for the next six months. God, I hope not. Back in a moment, Observer Live. The hey. WWE legendary hey, joke, joke book. book. Why do WWE superstars' fingers hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Why Grin. were Gene Erkerlund's pants always so angry? Erkerlund? <laughs> Where does Beth Phoenix shop online? Amazon? The Glamazon! Oh, yeah. Nope. No. No. I mean, no. <laughs> no, that is the answer. Glamazon. That's what I said. <laughs> what? No, you said Gramazon. No, I said oh. Glamazon. Oh, there should be a Gramazon. <laughs> yeah, Gramazon, actually. You get, like, puppy you get it to you real slow. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.